Hi everyone, uh, my name is Alex and I um, have decided to try and start a uh, series on how to craft um, different uh, witchcraft tools and I got the idea because I had decided to make a new altar um, for myself and I um, posted it on a um, forum that I go to and a lot of people liked it and I kind of got the idea that maybe um, if you're not of course a member of that forum then you obviously didn't get to see it but I will show it to you if you just oh, let me get it I need to like you and I'm in my kitchen if you see all which is where I do a lot of my crafting for um, different things uh, like bird houses um, purses that I make um, and uh, different things like I made um, something for my cat that she needs of course. Um, this is the altar that I made. Just hold on for a second. It, it had to come in two pieces because um, I couldn't find a piece of wood um, big enough at the craft store which is where I go and I was just a bit too lazy to go to the home improvement store and have to find the right piece of wood and blah blah blah. But here it is. Let me get the other for you. Oops, wrong direction. Alright. You might not be able to see it as much, but uh, roughly, roughly there you go. And it goes together just like that. And on the back, I have, of course, let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time. Yeah, here we go. And, whoop, you see it, and of course I've got the goddess symbol and the god symbol and the various elements and spirals sitting there and the kind of the shape of the pentagram and uh, I use the spiral symbol on the edges to make it look a little funky, I like it, it's really cute. And it was just incredibly easy to make. Um, in order to make an altar, um, actually they're really, really simple. Um, you just need any flat space. You can use um, your dresser top, your, if, like I have bookshelves in my room, but they're currently taking up my books. Um, you can use uh, like a little table, like side tables you can go to. I got, I got three at Ikea for like 30 bucks, and I love Ikea, so it was great to go there and buy me some of those. And you can basically use that um, and then cover it with like some altar cloths. And I have a couple that I've made, but that's another video. Um, so any, basically any flat surface. You can use your floor if you have absolutely nothing else to use. Or um, I once used the top of my hamper when I had a um, like a square hamper. And I put um, like some cloth over top of that. It was actually a towel. But you know, for witches, it doesn't matter what you use just as long as it works for you. So you have plenty of different options when it comes to the actual table part that you use for your altar. Um, if you're like me and you like to craft a lot, then you can of course use wood. That's the easiest. You can get it at a craft shop. If you have not, like I live in Virginia, you can actually probably go out to like a lumber yard and get some pieces for relatively cheap. You can go to like the home improvement store or anything like that. You also have the option of, like, if you were to go outside, you can use, of course, the grass, or you can use, like, if you have a tree stump, which um, I'm probably about to get soon if my mom cuts down um, the tree just for safety purposes um, of falling down on the house, which would be bad. I'd rather have a stump than that. Um, you can use that if you would like, or you can also use what I have gone to the uh, Lowe's and gotten uh, a giant piece of tile stone. Um, this is actually travertine. Um, I want to say I, I know a lot of travertine comes from Italy, which I actually found was really cool. And you can paint it or you can leave it just like it is. I prefer to leave it just like it is because I actually like it. And I'm going to use this one for um, a different purpose. And it is heavy as hell for an altar if you um, happen to have to keep moving things. I don't recommend stone. You can also get, I also have a small piece of 
granite, which has been polished, and it looks more like it belongs on the countertop, but I actually loved it, and it was pretty good price. So if you actually don't feel like um, painting or anything like that, then stone is what I recommend. You know, you can get it as they come in 12 by 12, 16 by 16, and 18 by 18. And I also have done one for the different, like, this is like air or whatever. If I wanted to do something and work just specifically with the element of air, then it has an A for air because, you know, and then you have um, the different signs in kanji for air. This is actually the sign for air as relating to insects instead of actual wind, but um, insects actually do remind me of air, and I really like those, and actually have them tattooed on my back for um, balance purposes to remind me to try and balance um, the different, the positive attributes of the elements into myself, and that's why they are tattooed on me. Um, so basically, when it comes down to it, um, you have so many options, it's ridiculous. You can do basically anything. You can put anything on your altar, and I'll be doing a different series about um, what you can put on there. Um, I've made candle holders, um, a couple different chalices. I've done um, a very simple way to make a pentagram. If you cannot draw, and I'm, since I'm a bit intensive about angles, even though I almost failed geometry, um, a very easy way to make a pentagram. Um, and altar cloths are so easy to make, it's kind of ridiculous. But if you don't have a sewing machine, there's another way to do it. Um, so I'll be vlogging about that. And if you have any questions, you can always ask. Um, probably part two will be exactly like, um, like if you just wanted to see me make one, I can actually do that because I'm about to make another like a like travel altar and put in a couple different things on that. Oh, before I forget. When it comes down to what you want to put on your altar, it's really up to you. I actually found my um, different stencils and things like that from the craft store. And I took a look at some of the altars that other people had already made, like the actual table part, not the altars, because um, that, of course, varies. Um, and I found one, and instead of copying it, I decided to make something like it, and also because the person has more talent than I do and more time than I do. So I just got the stencils and everything like that, some carbon paper, it's pretty easy, and I'll be posting that up in probably about a week or so, depending on when I get paid, i got to pay the taxes first. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can, um, do it however you would like. Alright, thanks.